Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today I wanted to show you guys my music studio. For those who are new to this channel and maybe didn't know, um, on top of being kind of a YouTuber, I also am a music teacher. I teach um, voice lessons, piano lessons, music theory, and acting. And I thought it'd be fun to start off the week by showing you guys a quick tour of my music studio. It is actually not here in my personal home. It is uh, cross town in like the downtown Columbus area. But without any further ado, here is a quick tour of my music studio. Kristen, and then I had a recital. Those are all my students. I had a lot of students here. I'm very sad. I'm going to miss them. This place. This place is where I worked before I had full time employment when I was just doing shows and working a majority of just part time side jobs. This was like the rock that paid my fixed expenses, like my rent and my you know, monthly bills. This is for my piano students. They can read their clefs, you know, treble clef. Da, 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 da. And the bass clef. And then my singers, we do a lot of soul fresh, you know, do, my dear, all that stuff. My old schedule, when I was leaving, I was only doing three days a week. When I worked here before full time, I was here Monday through Thursday, 3 to like 7.30 or 8. So it really was about 20 to 25 hours a week. And that paid enough to cover my fixed expenses. Um, here's my desk with the Starbucks you saw. Um, this is probably what I'm going to miss the most. I just loved having a place outside of my home and my work life that was just my music. My degrees are in music. I have always had it in my life. I always am working on something, no matter how busy I am with other projects or other work. And this poster over here, The Phantom of the Opera. Um, this is where my love for theater all started. Um, in 2012, and I'll do a video about this later, but in 2012 my parents wanted to take us to see where 9-11 happened because they felt it was very important for us as kids to to see it, you know, outside of the news and it was more, you know, real if you saw where it happened and part of our trip was we were going to go see a Broadway show. We had never seen a Broadway show. I'm the oldest of three and I was 13 or 14 at this time. My siblings all wanted to go see The Lion King, and they didn't have enough tickets. They had three tickets to that. So my mom and brother and sister went and saw Lion King, and my dad said, okay, what else do you want to see? And I said, Dad, I don't really know. I don't do musicals. I know nothing about musical theater. Some of my friends in middle school were kind of into the musicals. I never did them, but I went and saw them and kind of supported from the side. I did not sing in public. And we got tickets to Phantom of the Opera. The only tickets they had left were in the front row, and... Bless my dad and thank him now. He went and bought those tickets in the front row. We went and saw this show and it was all over. I knew what I wanted to do in high school. I knew what I wanted to further study. And this is a very old poster. There are scratches on it, but it's not going anywhere. I am keeping that. Um, those are cards from my kids have birthdays. I've cleared a lot of this desk out. This used to have like planners and schedules on it. There are books. Let's see here. Um, this is going to go with me to my new home. I love it. Music is what feelings sound like. Joshua Evans, if you watch this, you have the same poster. Um, these are prints that I got when I worked on the cruise ship. We had an art gallery. We had an artist come on board. He gave me those. I used to have a lamp there. It's now with me at my residence. Shows that I did. These were 2016 season shows that I did. Mary and Mary Poppins and Nelly Forbush in South Pacific. My piano, which is in tune. Thank goodness. This is an old home, to be honest. This is the master bedroom. When I first moved in, the only thing in here was this piano and it was pushed in front of the fireplace. So I, I feel like I have kind of taken it to the next level. And the kids always felt, you know, very welcome here. I mean, I had a full studio of kids. To be very honest, I, somehow managed to grow this into a business. 
I would substitute teach um, schools in Columbus and I would always substitute teach choir and give out my cards for kids that wanted private lessons and I grew. But it was this, this show right here. I wrote in my bio that I was a teacher here and the second the show closed, apparently the phone was ringing off the hook. I want to take lessons from Mary Poppins. I want to take lessons from her. So you never know where business will spawn, but I thought I would share this little bit with you, you know, before it all goes away. I will miss this place a lot. Hope you guys like my studio.